Hi children, how are you? I hope that you guys have closed school. So that means we're on holiday. And what does holiday mean? Holiday means that we're supposed to be preparing for VBS. So today I want to teach us about somebody in the Bible. His name is Lazarus. Lazarus was Mary and Martha's brother. Today's lesson is about Jesus being the resurrection and the life. Does anybody know what resurrection and life means? What that means is Jesus is the one who gives us life. That even if we die, we have been resurrected through Jesus. And so, let us begin our lesson, put our hands together, and let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for today's lesson. We invite your presence to start with us. I thank you for every boy and girl who is watching today's lesson with their mummies, their daddies, and their aunties and their uncles. And I pray that they will be able to understand today's lesson. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So children, boys and girls, today, as I have said, we are talking about Jesus being the resurrection and the life. And I want to share a story. I want to share a story about Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. And they used to live in a town called Bethany. And then one day, Lazarus got really, really sick. He got so, so sick that the sisters were so worried. So what did they do? They told him to rest. And as they told him to rest, they remembered that Jesus was in their neighborhood and they thought to themselves, hmm, hmm. If we tell Jesus that our brother Lazarus is sick, he's going to come and he's going to heal him. And the reason they thought that is because they knew that Jesus was going around healing people and even making the blind to see. And so what did Mary do? Mary sent word to Jesus through a messenger. A messenger is somebody who we send out to deliver a message for us so that that messenger could tell Jesus, that Lazarus is sick, and Mary and Martha want him to come and heal their brother. Mm -hmm. Let us continue. And what did Jesus say? If you read your Bible in the book of John, chapter 11, from verse 3 to verse 17, you will get Jesus' response. And what did Jesus say? the sickness will not end in death. What Jesus meant was that sickness is not going to make Lazarus die. So Jesus continued with his mission work and he went to Mary and Martha two days later. However, when he got to Mary and Martha, Lazarus had already died and his body had been put in a tomb. That is where they used to bury people in the old age. And so when Jesus went to Mary and Martha, what did Martha do? Martha ran to Jesus and told him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. You know, she was feeling hurt. She had lost her brother. He had been buried. She was thinking if Jesus came that time when he was sick, he would have healed him. But now, she was just coming to tell Jesus, Lord, if you had come early, my brother would not have died. And what did Jesus tell Martha? Let us continue to read our Bible. Let us look into our Bible. And this is what Jesus told Martha. Your brother will be raised again and live. What did Jesus tell Martha? That Lazarus will be raised and he's going to live again. So do you know what Jesus did? Jesus requested the men who had come to see Mary and Martha to take him where Lazarus had been buried. 
And so when they got there, do you know what Jesus said? Jesus told the men to roll away the stone that was covering the tomb. And then Jesus stood in front of the tomb and this is what he said, Lazarus, come out. Again, what did Jesus say? Lazarus, come out. And do you know what happened, boys and girls? Lazarus came out and he was covered in clothes that they had buried him with. And so Jesus told the men who were there to unwrap him and Mary and Martha saw their brother and they were so, so happy because Jesus had raised their brother Lazarus back to life. And so, boys and girls, I want to tell you today that indeed Jesus is the resurrection and the life. That even if we die, even if we sleep and we do not wake up, we have eternal life because Christ already died for us. And so with that story, I want us to do our memory verse. And our memory verse today, it comes from the book of John. Our memory verse comes from the book of John, chapter 11, verse 25. Again, our memory verse today comes from the book of John, chapter 11, verse 25. And you can see it on the screen. And this is what it says. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live, even though he dies. Let us read it again. John, chapter 11, Verse 25, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And so that is our memory verse today. Boys and girls, I want you to take time this week and please learn the memory verse. Mummies and daddies, I also encourage you to sit with your children this week and read our passage scripture from the book of John, chapter 11, from verse 3 to verse 16. And we can help our children understand the story about Lazarus and Jesus being the resurrection and the life. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for joining me for today's lesson. Let us put our hands together and let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you for today's lesson. We thank you for teaching us that indeed Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life and that we have eternal life through Christ Jesus. I thank you for this week. I thank you for every child who has joined us today. And I thank you for every mommy and daddy who is watching with us. I thank you for this week and we speak blessings and we thank you because come next week we will meet again through you and i pray this in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen bye bye boys and girls have a good week see you next time